All rappers are scared of Kendrick Lamar. No intro needed. Industry invaders. We're back with an absolute banger. Shout out to Loisista. I don't know how to pronounce it, man, but original link of the video will be the first link in the description. Let's get it. Let's go. K Dot, we back, baby. Let's go. Yeah, number one in the world, by the way. At the minute, hip hop is basking in the landscape where he destroyed Drake so savagely. Yeah, that diabolically. Being used as an acronym to warn others. So, I'm rap against Kendrick ever. Ever? Mm. Yeah. You didn't sit home with the fucking Blackberry or the fun composition book? Yeah, and yeah. Acronyms for your own fucking name. Well, Drake's defeat at K-Dot's hands Damn. has proven exactly why so few have gone at Kendrick over the years. And it's what so it sad. It's so sad. The only way Drake could got out, y'all, was he faked the shooting. Faked the shooting? Come on, man. So Damn. Place. Make sure you like, well, share, subscribe, and new. Let's go. I made it clear to the whole world that Kendrick wasn't a man to trifle with. My name is Luesta, and this Luesta. is my okay, I got it right. of Kendrick Lamar. There's a lot of angles to tackle why Kendrick has such a reputation for being one of the MCs that you just don't attempt to rhyme against. But one of them is that the reverence that the culture has for him trickles down to the top of the industry. Co-signed yeah. by Dr. Dre and passed the torch to the West Coast by Snoop Dogg, The Game, Corrupt, and every other OG you can think of. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna beat this. Nigga, you got the torch, nigga, you better run. Ooh. Even the legendary Eminem. And how y'all think that's a lot of pressure? That's a lot of pressure for an icon like Snoop Dogg, who's still going. Snoop Dogg been famous for 40 plus years. Like Snoop, Snoop is still the guy in rap. Is he prevalent as far as the music side? No, but just what he means to our culture, our people, the community. Man, Snoop a real one, dog. Once thought that his pen Snoop game means could possibly live up to the hype. The thing with Ill was crazy to me. He kicks everybody out the studio. As I took it as him kicking everybody out to see if that's really you writing them raps. Oh. That's you writing. Oh. Okay, you know? I think Drake, Drake said the same thing, thing though about Kendrick. Ghostwriters. That's a pretty fair assumption. But as Ed Sheeran remembered, he soon found out exactly why K-Dot was given so many props by people that he respected. Eminem, he heard that Kendrick Lamar was the best rapper and he invited him to the studio to get, get him on a song and he arrived and Kendrick came with all his mates and uh, Eminem said, um, I just want you in the studio, just you on your own. And then my engineer is going to come in and then record you doing it, but your mates aren't allowed in. And then Kendrick did it, wrote a sick verse, and then all, everyone came in to listen to it. And Eminem said he did it to test Kendrick because yeah, he yeah, those little, I remember they were doing a lot of test running with him. Then, then claimed that he was the best. Ever since the two of them collaborated on Love Game off the Marshall Mathers LP two, Eminem has known that Lamar is among the elites in the game. And in all time great vulnerability from Shady, he suggested that he would think twice about coming for Kendrick. It's the same thing if I get on this, getting on the track with Kendrick. I can never tell what the fuck he's gonna do, right? Because he is such a chameleon of styles that he can fucking do any pretty much anything, right? right. And he's and he's so proficient at it. He's so good at it. And you don't know what you're gonna get. Man, oh man, that's that's very profound. That's very profound, and I had to grow my appreciation and my support for Kendrick, man. Like I always tell y'all, I'm a new Kendrick fan. Meaning, it's hard for me to become a fan because one, I'm in the industry, and I'm of the industry. Meaning, I know a lot of industry secrets. I know a lot of industry people of uh, connects and just you know on that side. And for people like this to revere you, though, it's not only the East Coast or the West Coast or the South. It's the entire culture embracing you, embodying you, riding on the art that you create for our community. And you're the voice. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a lot of pressure. And he, he definitely he definitely wears that and owns that for sure. You know. You can get your ass kicked any day. Besides overshadowing rappers on features, k never had to square off with other MCs in the same way that Shady had to in his career. But he always insisted that he had Yeah, but we know why M did that, though. We know why M had to. One, he's... You know what I'm saying? He's one of those. Two, they just thought he was an industry plant. 
And you can't blame you can't blame people for thinking you're an industry fan, bro. You're not of the community. The Section 80 campaign basically revolved around the claim that he would kill your favorite rapper. Then on Dam's Element, he issued a warning that all they had to do was say his name and they'll see Candyman. Then mm. after winning a Pulitzer Prize, he let his colleagues know what time it was on Rich Spirit, where he told them to stop playing with him before he turns you into a song. He did. He did. He did. Now, in the wake of Aubrey's demolition and Jake Damn, Hall, he truly he did. You know that wasn't an idle threat, as over these past few weeks, he's left massive footprints on their legacies. As they struggle to pick themselves back up, you can imagine that no one will be stepping to Dot anytime soon. But long before everything that followed Kendrick's declaration of fuck the big three, it's just big me, went down, rappers already showed a real reluctance to cross him. In fact, when they let their ego get in the way and spoke out against him, they usually decided to pay homage yep, instead. Because did, although true. he had never really been in a battle until Drake thought he could take him on, he already proved how much his presence and the chatter around your career can do with Big Sean. In many ways, Big Sean is pretty Smoke much the reason Sean, why man. Kendrick is going at Drake in the first place. By now, we all know about K-Dot's infamous verse on Control, where he hijacked Big Sean's track to let the whole industry know that even though he had love for them, he was trying to murder them and take their fans. At the same yep, time, yep, Big Sean yep. insisted that he didn't even get bodied on the track, even though he opted to be for real, Sean. the same album that it was originally intended to be on. But he never really managed to escape its shadow. I put that work in. Like, you're not going to disrespect me. I, I hop on any track with anybody, and I will not only stand my own, you're going to know that it's my verse, and you're going to know I'm... That's what I'm gonna it's okay, that's for control. Yeah, but, y'all, don't act like Big Sean ain't one of those. Big Sean is hot. Big Sean was a great... I mean, he's still good. Big Sean ain't had a really good career, or great career, um, but... Sean was one of those guys. Sean was a, it was a big five. You know what I'm saying? You got Future, Kendrick, Cole, Drake, Future. Oh, did I say Future? It's supposed to be Future, Cole, K-Dot, Drake, Sean. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was, Sean was up there. He was one of those guys. He just fell back. He fell in love, fell back, had a, made a baby. You know what I'm saying? Had kids, became a family man. But don't try. Sean can say that because Sean is one of those. And he smoked your favorite rapper before. Yeah, he did. Sean, come on. Truth of the truth. Did he on control? No, he didn't, but just in general. Yeah, for sure. Okay, okay. Although he never fully accepted that there was beef, Big Sean did attempt to throw subliminal shots at Dot from time to time. He did. For example, on songs like Me, Myself, and I and No More Interviews, people felt like the no more interviews is incredible. was aiming at Kendrick's rapping style. But as is often the case, Kendrick never even acknowledged that anything was going down. Then, on the hard part four, he let the world know that he heard what was being said and that if he kept pushing, Big Sean would get what he thought he wanted. My fans can't wait for me to sign your punk ass and crush your whole little shit. I'll be pun your punk ass, you a scared little bitch. While he never got Damn. a normal diss track dedicated to him, Big Sean was informed Damn. in no uncertain terms that Kendrick would come at his neck whenever he wanted to. Meanwhile, the control. Hey, I gotta say this. Y'all know what amazed me though? When I was growing up, like when all that going down 20, 2012 through 2015, 16, when I was a kid, or just uh, not even a kid, just when I was younger, it's like teenager years. Man, I thought that Kendrick Lamar was. I thought that man was so ass. Let me tell you why. I thought he was ass for the simple fact that the the voice inflections, the the voice effects, uh, the way he delivered uh certain phrases and words, like it was a lot of shit that just I did not like when I was younger. Now maybe it's because I'm from Atlanta, I'm from the South, the way we speak, the way we do our, our culture is different, right? But like when he used to do the the voices and like he used to do the voices and be high low, high low, then deep monotone. Like it used to be a lot going on with his music. But as I got older, like I'm 25 now, y'all. Like as I got older, I've grown to appreciate not only the incredible work it is, but you, I know what it takes for you to execute it at a high level. You see what I'm saying? Like I know what it takes for you to really really perfect your craft you know what i'm saying that it ain't just one take two take like how the kids or the artists do they, these days where well, i did it in one take that's why that shit be weak and it be here for two weeks and gone you know what i mean for the rest of the year the, the shit he's doing is different y'all it's different 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 
Yeah, you can almost divide it between the time before that verse and everything that happened after. And in a move that has really set the tone for how people come out of the other side of squabbling with Kendrick, Big Sean speaks of him with nothing but admiration now. And basically acts as if there was never a problem. Same, me too. I, nothing but admiration, man. I love Kendrick. Like, I love k -Dot. Like, as he's, like, one of my own. Like, I fought with him so heavy because as I got older and I grew into, you know, a businessman, an entrepreneur, a shit a father a brother a friend I, I share a lot of sentiments i share a lot of morals and values you know what i'm saying like that he's been teaching and preaching for over the years like when with food when money trees came out i was in like eighth or ninth grade money trees poetic justice swimming pools think about it though that music i still listen to good kid bad city faithfully like as it just dropped like it's that album is just that incredible to me. And I'm a grown man now. That shit came out 10, 11, 12 years ago. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's crazy. And shout out Kendrick, man. Shout out, shout out K-Dot. Ken, Big, Big Sean Kendrick beef was going on. It was something I wish I would have spoke up about because there was nothing. So then I remember going online and seeing like, oh, is he talking about Kendrick? Because I'm talking about people who rap fast. I wasn't beefing with nobody. Insisting that he didn't want any problems, Big Sean still had to acknowledge that the whole thing has haunted him for years. And in every verse I do, people be like, oh, is this a response? Is this a response? And I'm like, it's like, damn, I can't even show no aggression. People think it's a damn response. It got to a point where somehow it was just a weird tension between me and him, even though it was already said it wasn't no beef because people made it that way, right? Although Big Sean probably got the raw end of the deal out of control, there is another man on the track who goes by the name of Jay Electronica. And although he was regarded as one of the world's greatest MCs at the time, he didn't escape And for the record, I wasn't regarding him that, because I still think he weak. I don't care what you say. Is he, does he have dope verses? Yeah. Does he have great verses? Sure, he does. Does he have uh, some iconic songs where he's rapping really at an elite level? Yeah. But the only way you can become great or the only way you can be great is by being consistently good. This man was not consistently good. Sorry. Sorry. If y'all thought, hey, if y'all thought Kendrick wasn't dropping enough, this man don't drop at all. Shout out Jalen. Kendrick would bother you. Look, you couldn't pay Kendrick a million dollars. Kendrick wouldn't tell you. Kendrick could tell you himself he couldn't body me. Kendrick, look, Kendrick is my son. Kendrick is my baby. Kendrick, what she say he could be me? Followed Track? up first on The Curse of Mayweather, where he rapped. He got 11 Grammy nominations, Yama Equal, and Fuck These White People, which refers to the amount of Grammys Kendrick won at the time. He followed it up with, My grandmother died at 82 scrubbing floors, and rappers still running around begging for awards. j Leg looked like he was practically begging for problems. Then, from out of he nowhere, was. he seemed to have a change of heart and was giving Dot his flowers all of a sudden. Lastly, peace to Kada on TDE because regardless to whom or what, we're brothers fighting the same energy. Forgive my past energy. Although it's unclear Try why it? they switch up like that, Jay, like many rappers we're going to discuss, Try was another it? man who folded on Dot when he was put to the test. For the most part, hip-hop's response to Kendrick's name drops on control not only laid the groundwork for the Drake beef, but it also set the precedent for how rappers would tiptoe around him. At the time, there were Definitely. tons of responses to control, but they all seemed like they were carefully towing the line as to not go too far. For example, after feeling angry that Slaughterhouse were left out of the shoutouts, one of the group's members, Joel Ortiz, responded with the vicious trap. Beef, hey, hey, Ortiz, control. be for real, dog. Be for real. Shout out Joe, though, because Joe, I've been rocking with Joe for a while. Ortiz, be for real. I can see if it was, uh, I can see if it was Royce. If Royce flipped out, okay, cool, okay, boo, because Royce is all-time great, right? Royce is regarded and revered, like, you know what I'm saying? Royce to 5 9 is one of those, but bro, come on, bro. Kendrick have it. I mean, you the king of New York. Go home, you ain't the king of New York. You the next thing on my floor. But later on, he would do an interview with Vibe and say that he was actually saluting My man, y'all, I got contact high off there. notoriously fearless Joe Budden, that he was posting a live stream for the response track, only to opt out and not release it. Amid responses from Papaloose and others, Kendrick remained so calm about the whole thing that it would be impossible for it to not strike fear in their hearts. How are you feeling about uh, all, the, um, all the comebacks lately from your uh, control verse? You gotta try hard. 
So when they all back down, it really made the whole culture realize that Lamar was to be treated with respect. Basically, there's always a caveat when it comes to KDOT slander, rather than anyone really coming for his neck. I mean, just look at what happened to French Montana when he attempted to diss him. Over, Over the years, years French has had a few things to say about Bruh, 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 it's French. Who? What? It's French Montana, y'all. I'm not responding to none of you little niggas. If I'm kidding Lamar, I'm not responding to none of you little niggas. The only reason why Drake is on the plate and getting smoked how he is is because Drake is uh he's one he's one of those people that it's nothing but sauce. It's like magic. It's nothing but magic. Like he, the numbers be fake, the acclaim be fake. It, he don't even write his own music. We got reference tracks for days of people. He don't even change the lines of the songs. But the people still love him, and they say Drake this, Drake that. Drake is the goal. I'm not too. I'm top two, but I'm not too like. But in reality, you're not even top five. It's like it's a lot that he just finessed us. We've been misled. We've been misled. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if you're new. First off, hey, if you was misled like, like me, make sure you like hit that like button. Kendrick sells more than like street rappers. Um, cause they cause they position him like how they did in the Grammys. As 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 the new music, but well, I don't feel like that's you know, mm -hmm. not, not it's not that it's not the right thing to do, but it's like they, you see, it's like the whole thing was like Kendrick Knight. Then more Shrek ridiculously, it? he said that he had more hits than him, only to be clowned relentlessly by the internet. If we're just talking about anthems, me versus Kendrick hit for hit, I believe I could go neck to neck. I've been making hits for a long time. I love Kendrick. That's not just for Kendrick. That's for anybody they put in front of me. However, not everyone agreed with this. I mean, even other rappers hopped on the bandwagon to mock him for it. Stupid Andy said he got more hits than Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Who? Real dope. Like right. words with him over it. French Montana never tried to provoke K Dot any further. And now, just like everyone else, French has since basically apologized for even thinking he could mess with him, and said he was just in his feelings at the time. I was just heated. I ain't win a Grammy for for unforgettable. That's what it was. Yeah, but Kendrick is my dog. But just that, just that one 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 day at the interview, I was just so heated that I ain't win, and he was the winner. And I was just like, Yo. But I fuck with Kendrick. I fuck with the whole um. The whole team. I think to say that he was in the wrong rather than say Kendrick had any part in it. This is a rare show of humility for a rapper. And while Cole has been taking all the flag for getting up on my the bad, dream, I stage, high again. and saying that his seven minute drill this these song, rappers got Kendrick smoke didn't sit right with the spirit and would be deleted off streaming services. When I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit don't yeah, sit but Cole, that right there, we let's stop it there. The only reason you see the talk and the talk is is that that shit ain't hard. That's the talk. Right. Um, the talk is it's not a dope this, it's not a dope uh response to what it, like that is. When you compare it to like that, it's not even in the same realm. Like that is a ten, seven minute drill is a two. That was the talk. Not that you res and we also gave you credit for responding. Like myself personally, I gave you credit for responding because I thought you were gonna tuck your tail and what did you do? You tuck your tail. I always compare J. Cole with Kevin Durant. And people laugh until I break it down. The reason you compare J. Cole to Kevin Durant is because Kevin Durant is a all-time great, that it factor superstar, mega star, whatever level you think he is, that's who J. Cole is. But for the simple fact, he can't never get over the hump. What is the hump? He can't never win the Grammy. He can't never have the top 10 record. He can't never um, sell, you know, more than Kendrick or Drake, or he can't reach those LeBron James, you know, Michael Jordan levels, but he's still an all-time great. Um, still respected. No one plays with him. You know, got the it factor. Check all the boxes off. He's just safe. You know, Kevin Durant is safe. Kevin Durant don't want to be a leader. He just want to be safe, right? So that's J, that's J. Cole, literally. I just want to play basketball. I don't want to lead. Damn, Kevin Durant. J. Cole just want to rap and make good music. He don't give a fuck about being the greatest. He don't give a fuck about, and he told us that. He don't give a fuck about trying to push the envelope or push the culture forward or, uh, you know, stand for this or stand for that. He's just a middle child. Like, he's middle ground. Jake. Jake.
History shows that he's not the first person to make his apologies to Kendrick. And maybe fear of he being not. dismantled on a verse wasn't the only he reason. Not at all. Although his immense talents on the mic are one major factor, French extending his love to Kendrick's whole team is important. Because as these rappers likely learned before going at his neck, messing with Kendrick requires you to go up against an army. And while Kendrick might have been a good kid in a mad city, he's got a whole city behind him. And there's something dangerous about Kendrick that not a lot of people speak about. Growing up in Compton, Kendrick was exposed to the gang lifestyle early on, and many of his best friends were active members. Yep. Then, after joining TDE, he suddenly found himself in the midst of the Bounty Hunter Bloods and Hoover Crips as he teamed up with fellow label mates Schoolboy Q yep, and j yep, yep. as well as a whole host of other people who were repping sets. Recently, Kendrick's gang ties have come under the microscope again, because if the rumors are true, Cole might have received a tip to back off from the beef that sounds not too dissimilar to what you'd see on the streets from Schoolboy mm. Q. Reporting from Dreamville Festival, an unnamed source revealed that it was actually Schoolboy Q who allegedly warned J. Cole to stop beefing with Kendrick before the apology. I'm not specifying mm. what kind of warning, whether it was a bullying move, a Debo-like maneuver, or just a friendly heads up. I don't think it matters at this point, but based on Debo. what Lynch, TDE's president said, I think they gave him what he needed to hear to bow out of the battle with as much grace as possible. Whether he was letting him know what kind of heat k had in store for Drake with the abuse allegations, or telling him to ease up before things got dangerous this whole situation proves that whatever kendrick is getting involved in the streets he grew up on have his back in terms of gangs kendrick has long been rumored to have connections to the west side high route in addition to his affiliation to the red side of the city kendrick also has uncles who are crips several of which have served a lengthy jail terms for gang related activity and armed robbery and he's still locked in with them to this very day does the crew come out every time you come to compton yeah. <laughs> as a result of his connections, as well as old pictures of Kendrick dressed in red, Drake's recent assessment yeah, that he isn't affiliated to a set on his new track, Family Matters, has been ridiculed by people from Compton. While at the same time, respecting Kendrick's design. Think about who he named, Chris Brown. He says CB Bang. He rep the set like CB. And he says the game bangs a set, even Chris Brown bangs a set. He just don't know Kendrick. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, <laughs> Kendrick renounced his hood. <laughs> uh, Kendrick just don't be private so like priding himself off of his gang culture. So I guess people think that he a non affiliate. I don't know if we buzzed it, but you know, hey. But obviously, like the yeah, the fact is Kendrick severely downplays gang affiliation. The push ups was in yeah. his hood, wasn't it? The push ups that you know. talk about there at the park. Once again, the clues for Cali having his back have all been there in the music. On Section 80's Pull Man Dreams, Kendrick has a line where he says, City got my back before that, I give them my trust, so you think about it. Basically, what he's saying here is that he can say things with his chest because he knows that he has the city behind him. And yeah, when he looks close at those videos of Not Like Us going off in the club, he should definitely feel more confident in that than ever. <laughs> But while this could be taken literally for the whole state of California, that line may contain allusions to his gang ties. In an interview from back in the day, Snoop Dogg went into more detail about this. It's just that he's, he's a nice guy, so that I have a problem with him because he doesn't have a gangster approach. But let me let y'all know, he got a hundred thousand motherfucking gangsters with him. So y'all better watch what y'all say. I mean, as you should. You know I'm saying? Keep it hip hop, because that's what he did. He kept it all hip hop. In spite of the he fact did. that Kendrick hasn't ever Even to this day, that was interview was probably 10 years old. What we do know is that there are times in his life where he moves like one. Back in the day, Don tried to intimidate AD of the No Jumper podcast and back on Fig because Kendrick thought he was from a rival neighborhood. Hey, you want to know a crazy thing about Kendrick, bro? My first encounter with him, he thought I was somebody else, bro. He, he low-key trying to press me. Who? Kendrick Lamar. Who he thought he was. He's from a different hood. I guess like, I guess some niggas jumped him back in the day. And I came to the studio and he was mad. He was like, hey, you from the Block? And I was like, nah, but he was hot. He banged on the back? Where's Almond Block? No, he don't. Almond Block is another hood in Compton. Mm -hmm. And I was like, nah, I ain't from Almond Block. I thought you were lying. And he was like, you here from Almond Block. I'm like, nah, I ain't from Almond Block. I'm over here. Yeah, he, he was he, like, all right. And then we was cool after that. But, it, but, but he, he was mad. Oh, no, he was mad. Yeah, <laughs> he was. He was like, he was mad. Like, like yeah. if, I, if I was from the block, he would have got his get back on me that day. From the gang members which regularly appear in his music videos, the musical appears like mustard, proving that they'll throw away any other relationship to ride for his Cali comrade. So yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, see, the, the, that culture is so prevalent out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, that culture is really, really prevalent. And for you to have all sides rocking with you, riding with you, there's no way you can't lose. 
You can't lose. You cannot lose. And everything that entails it would make anyone think twice before coming at it. But while there was speculation that Kendrick wasn't to be taken lightly, it's safe to say that this Drake battle has made that crystal clear. Although I mean, fans bro, like law or academics may dying to be clear. No VBS. Bearing the music itself, the fact that he overthrew Drake's record for the highest streams for a rap song in a day, but a track where he calls him a sex offender, is just diabolical. Now, fans are waking up to the fact that he just wasn't to be messed with. I knew Kendrick Lamar was a dude that needed to be left alone when that video of him doing burpees in a parking lot while listening to oldies dropped. Something is clearly wrong with him. Look at this fucking psychopath. Yeah, that shit, that, that video is crazy. Outside, what's happening to Drizzy these days further explains to why he wasn't challenged before now. Because while people have been throwing jabs at Drake for years, it doesn't matter if they don't hit the general public. But with Kendrick, you have a rare mix of someone who isn't just obscenely skilled, but also has the platform to slander you and reach huge audiences. It's the and he's an all-time great, a legend. Not that he's talented or has the skill, no, no, no. He's past that. He's LeBron James level, iconic level, like one of those people that you can consider the GOAT. You dig what I'm saying? Like, he's he a Lil Wayne, he a Jay Z, he a Eminem. Like, he can do both mainstream from that and club. underground style. Music you dig? When most artists just choose one and never change, because he can immortalize you in a negative light in the form of a classic hit. If you needed proof that this is a real thing, just look at this school teacher's comments about the change in tone around Drake in the wake of Not Like Us dropping. Hey. I, up until today, taught at a very Drake-centric high school. Rich Baby Daddy is the most frequently requested song to put on my class playlist. If I ask students what they're listening to in their headphones, Drake. The week after the leak was a nightmare. But today, I walk in and I can feel that there has been a tectonic shift. Oh my god. This is a Kendrick school now. I pulled my classes on what they thought, and they were ready to throw down for Kendrick. I had, like, one Drake defender in each class, if that. And honestly, I feel bad for those kids, because they were getting screamed at. As people move to the sides, he has even hit Drake in his pocket. d all the time, May 3rd huh? to May 6th, Lamar's discography earned around 50 million streams, up 49% from the previous Friday to Monday tracking period. Meanwhile, Drake's overall catalog is actually down. When you similarly compare his streams from that week... Yeah, I mean... Bro, like I told y'all, I, I can't fuck with a guy. I don't respect no person who don't take care of kids. Um, Drake recently discovered that he has multiple. I don't take care of. I don't rock with that. Like, I, I truly don't. So, it's not much I want to hear from Drake. Um, and I was a Drake fan. Like, I rock with him. And I don't know if y'all can hear that. There's some kids outside playing on the on the lake. Um, they just screaming. They heart. What are they doing? Anyway, but like I was saying. There's not much I want to hear Drake say. What can Drake say? He faking shootings. He's not taking care of kids. He's faking the numbers. He's faking the images. You know, he's copying sauce. He's not original in no way. Why would I look to you? Or why would I look to hear from you? You're not even original. Am I hearing from you or am I hearing from him? Or if I'm hearing from her, like, who am I actually hearing from? You know? So it's that type and of vibe. his two streaming available response tracks, push-ups and family matters. Although Kendrick won't overtake Drake's streaming numbers as a whole, what is clear is that Kendrick's versatility has proven to be a weapon. And For sure. as Eminem suggested earlier, one of the reasons why it's not advisable mm. to test him. You go through all these records from like that to Euphoria to 616 in LA to Meet the Grams to Not Like Us. None of those records sound the same at all. It's they the don't. widest range I've ever seen in the amount of time in any just battle ever when it comes to the rapping and the music fuck all like the timeline or no fuck the timeline time, just who's music rapping and who was putting out the better records kendrick lamar checked every fucking box sonically that you could think of his yeah he went crazy his potential gang ties there are lots of reasons why kendrick is feared but the biggest reason of all should be how seriously he takes his craft i'm so passionate about hip-hop man like, i don't know what era everybody else come from but i listen man like we play house parties bro every night i love it to a point i can't even describe it and when i heard these artists say they're the best coming up i said i'm not doing it to have a good song or one good rap or a good hook or a good bridge i want to keep doing it every time period and to do it every time you have to challenge yourself and you have to confirm to yourself that you're the best period this explains the responsibility 100%. he feels to uphold standards, as well as why Drake taking the culture without giving back bothers him so much. This is not something you just play with, you know, get no. a few dollars and get out, you know. People live their 
lives to this music. It's my partners in the hood right now. They listen to rap every day because it's the only thing that can relate to their stories and their tribulations. Yeah, you yeah. have to take in consideration what you write down on that paper. And if you're not doing it to say the most impactful, you're doing it to be the best you can be for the listener. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Always one to keep the sword sharp. Yeah, Patrick fact. would never allow himself to lose with that kind of mindset. In a genre where other rappers lose their hunger over time, k has always stayed as determined to prove himself as when overly dedicated dropped. At the same time, never And I gotta be him. honest, um, as we wrapping up this video, y'all, absolutely incredible video, incredible POV from Luisto again. But you know, I'm gonna get my take and I'm gonna go crazy. And I'm just speaking fact, no feeling. I don't deal in feeling, I deal with facts. And Kendra Lamar is just somebody you don't want to play with in all facets, whether it's skill, whether it's artsmanship, whether it's poetry, whether it's literature, whether it's uh, knowledge and intelligence, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurialship. Uh, you just don't want to play with him. He checks every single box off. Can he be a better father? Sure. Can he be a better lover? Sure. Can he be a better partner, father, brother, friend? Yeah, all that. Yeah, we all got improvement that we need to make. And we need to look in the mirror and just address it as, you know, as time go on. Like